A wildlife preserve is left picking up the pieces after they say vandals broke in and burned a portion of their property. Brenna McIntosh spoke exclusively to the Hoffler Creek Wildlife Preserve's executive director. She joins us now in the studio. Brenna, how big did this fire get? Sarah, a woman that lives right across the water from the preserve sent us this photo of the fire. The preserve's executive director tells me the fire destroyed thousands of dollars worth of equipment. The Hoffler Creek Wildlife Preserve is a peaceful place for people to bird watch, walk the trails, and enjoy nature. But the Portsmouth nonprofit wasn't so peaceful last night. The preserve's executive director, Ashley Morgan, says after she closed for the day Friday, vandals broke in and burned a solar powered shed to the ground. It's devastating. Um, so many people work hard here to make nature accessible. A neighbor sent us this photo of the blaze taken around 1030 Friday night. Now all that's left of the shed is rubble. It housed equipment for water monitoring, oyster restoration, and kayaking. The blaze was so hot that it melted the kayak fleet on racks nearby. Morgan says the kayak rentals bring in necessary funding to keep the nonprofit afloat. But with the fire melting and destroying all 14 of the preserve's kayaks, rentals are closed for the rest of the season. Um, many of our sunset and full moon tours this year have been sold out. We had one tonight. They should be here getting in boats. Now it's canceled. Now it's canceled. Morgan says the vandals also broke fences, bridges, the rain barrel system, and tossed benches into the lake. While the fire has left the wildlife preserve picking up the pieces, Morgan says she's thankful the fire didn't spread to the woods. This is a remote location in the preserve and could have easily spread to the forest. Morgan says she has filed a police report. I've reached out to both the Portsmouth Fire Department and Police Department, but have not yet heard back. Sarah, back to you.